let me get do, you. Do, 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 do yeah, I no. just use my hands? Because I will. Use your hands. I'm not above it. You know what? I didn't Screw it. There you go. Oh my god. And you notice that you really don't need, you don't even need barbecue sauce. I don't have enough hands mm -hmm. to just, like, to give you enough high fives. <laughs> All right. So good. <laughs> Thank you very much. Washington, D.C. isn't typically known for its barbecue, but D. City Smokehouse pitmaster Sean McWhorter, that was a mouthful, <laughs> is here to change that. Um, tell us about your role at D. City Smokehouse. Um, I'm the pitmaster. Um, I'm in charge of smoking all the meats that we have. Get up at five, go in, check on the briskets, because you want to make sure that they come out nice. And, so they're know. like children? Yeah, they are. The thing that people love more than anything is the brisket. I read about this really exclusive group in D.C. It's called the Brisket Squad. <laughs> Have you heard of them? That's us all day long. <laughs> Tell us about the Brisket Squad. Um, Brisket Squad. It's the whole crew. You ever know, you ever go into a small church yes. and the preacher know everybody? Of course. Anybody that came in there, they knew who we were and we knew who they were. And then we were sometimes was on the um, first name basis. You know that you couldn't remember everybody, but you remember the moment that you had with them. And that was the thing with us. It was the unity that we had with the community. I mean, because that's what the smokehouse is about, you know. It's about being humble to other people. And and I'm yeah. sure you guys smelled like brisket too, so that oh. probably caught a lot of people's attention. What inspired you to cook, mm -hmm. and what continues to inspire you? Okay, um, more than anything, what inspired me was um, <laughs> I was in the kitchen with my grandmother now, always getting in trouble. So if I got in trouble outside, I had to go sit in the kitchen. So if I sat in the kitchen, I had something to do, <laughs> you know. Um, it just caught on. She always told me, she said, you're gonna learn how to cook. You're gonna be self-sufficient. What'd she teach you? Oh, first of all, she had to she told me how to shuck some peas because it took time. So then what made the change over to barbecue? Got to, I got tired of working in retail and I knew I knew how to cook. I first got my first cooking job, to be honest with you, was um, Carolina Kitchen. I went to Carolina Kitchen, then I went down Hill Country. Hill Country was a different type of thing for me and I wanted to know different. I learned from Jim. Jim Frost. Yep. He's a, he's a good teacher. Hard and stern, but it makes you makes you a better person because you understand the rules now. And you found something that you wanted to learn more about, so you kept pursuing it. I wanted to prove myself to some person. I worked in Hill Country, and um, it was a manager, and they told me that I wouldn't be able to smoke, you know, and do this. Now look at me. D City Smokehouse has been called the gold standard of barbecue in the district. What do you think caused that? It was the person that started it, uh, first and foremost. People think that we can't hold up that standard and stuff like that, but we are. Because um, it's passion put behind us, the effort that's put behind us. We're gonna, um, we're gonna shine, you know? It's a, it's a passion. Yeah, the people talk, they, gonna, they know where to come for good food. Um, they know where to come to, to get treated right, you know? D City Smokehouse. All day long. You're gonna leave out of here smelling like smoke. You're gonna enjoy the food. Um, you gotta bring the kids down, you know, they gonna love it because we love, we love the community. This community has been good to us, the city has been good to us. You keep talking about this brisket. Mm -hmm. We're gonna try it or what? We're gonna try the brisket. Let's go try it. Uh, the thing is it's so good. <laughs> and we smoked the brisket for 18 hours. And the meat that you're eating right now is the lean part of the brisket more than anything. Lean part, so uh -huh. won't get fat won't eating get any of this. It's all fat-free. <laughs> you wish it was fat-free. 